Hi everyone, this is the demonstration video on how to turn in your final About Me poster onto or into Google Classroom. So the first thing you could do is try to download it. If you're familiar with um, technology and online programs and files, you should be pretty good at this. Um, you can suggest PNG or PDF. I would use PNG, which is a high quality image, and then click download. The reason why this is a little worrisome for me is everyone's computers might look different. So if you get to this point and you're ready to turn it in and you can't figure it out, join one of my live sessions. And what we can do is you can project your or present your screen or just send me an email that you need help. And I'll see if I can invite you to a Google Meet and show you how to do it um, because your computer might look different. I'm on a Chromebook, so it look, should look similar to most of you. So then what I would do is click show in folder. It's gonna take a second to pull up your file. And then what you can do is click and drag it to your Google Drive. So I'm pressing and holding and clicking and dragging it to my Google Drive. Okay, so it should be in there. So now what you can do is go to the Google Classroom assignment. Um, I can't see it the way you guys see it. The best way for me to show you is by going into an edit of an assignment. And regardless, you guys will see this add button on any assignment that you have in Google Classroom when you're going to attach documents. So you go to add and you'd go to Google Drive. If this works our way, something that you might get familiar with using is your recent um, there's going to be times where I wouldn't recommend you to do that, but because it's something you just downloaded, it's going to be the first one. So then you can come here and click on it and it's going to load it to the assignment. You can also click to preview, make sure it's what you were looking at, and then you would just click turn in. For me, it would click save and I don't want to um, add that to the assignment that has nothing to do with it, but that's exactly how you're going to get it there. If for some reason you are not able to download OK, some people are having issues where it's wanting you to do the free trial and it's telling you need to pay a dollar. You don't have to. You are welcome to, but you do not have to um, because this is for educational purposes. We can kind of cheat the system um, just to get your work turned in. We're not selling these. We're not printing them out to put on some museum wall and not give Canva their credit. So the way you can do it is by screenshotting. Um, on every computer, it's different. So if you do not have a Chromebook, go into Google and type how to take a screenshot on a MacBook, how to take a screenshot on a Google tablet or whatever you might be using. For a Chromebook, you're going to press um, Shift, Control. This is all at the same time. And then there's a little um, like screen sharing button, not the one that has the arrows for the full screen, but it's a, it's a rectangle and then there's two little lines on it. You're gonna press that and you're gonna see how my screen just went dark. You have those little crosshairs like in a, I hate to use the word shooting game, but like in Call of Duty, it's like crosshairs, okay? You're gonna line that up with the corner of your design and you're gonna click down and hold your mouse and drag it. You can see how it's highlighting it and you're gonna go right to the edge, okay? I'm going to have a little bit of this video in there because I'm on Screencastify, but you're, once you're happy with your selection, let go and you see it pops up and this is a screenshot um, that you just took. So what you can do is go show in folder, just like I did for the last option. It's going to pull up that image and then you can click and drag it again to Google Drive. If you do not have this option because you're not on a Chromebook, what you can do is just it'll save it in your folder and you should still in um, Google Classroom be able to go to add and you might be able to go to file and then on your computer you might be able to have the downloads option um, which is probably where that will be or go to your Google Drive and load it to Google Drive. Again, if this isn't helping, let me know. But those of you that just screenshot on a Chromebook and you go and drag it to Google Drive, you're going to come back to add Google Drive and it should be right at the top there in recents. Um, you're going to see two of mine because one was from the first way to download. The second one is from the screenshot option, which again is control shift and that rectangle with the two little lines next to it. And then you're going to drag around. So then you would double click it. Here is the image and that is just fine to turn in and you would click submit. Okay. Remember, after you get your project completely finished and you've got it turned down on that assignment, there's a second step you need to do, which is go over the self-assessment and review your process. Explain to me what you did, all the creative thinking that you used in your design. Um, answer the questions about what was challenging, how hard was Canva, and be honest and descriptive in your responses. And then make sure you submit that as well. 
always keep in touch. If you need help, ask. I will always help you. No question is a stupid question, um, but not asking is not going to get your work turned in. So best of luck and keep in touch if you need help. Always take us a second to stop. So if I make a stupid face, be nice.